GTV. Today I will be showing you how to operate and set up the Crompton Instruments Integra RI3 Digital Metering System. First I will look at the device in measurement mode. This is the default screen where I can use the four buttons on the right to toggle different measurements. The volts hertz button can check the voltage from line to neutral or phase to phase. Frequency and total harmonic distortion also from line to neutral or phase to phase. The amps button here is for the current displays. It will show the current, neutral current, maximum demand current and the total harmonic distortion of the current. The third key displays the instantaneous power screens. It has a three line display that shows the kilowatts, kilovolt ampere reactive and the KVA. I also can find the maximum demanded power in kilowatts and the power factor. The last button is for the energy display screens. This will show the imported and exported kilowatt hour and the imported and exported KVARH. In other words, this will measure the real energy and the reactive energy. For setting up the device, I will push and hold the volt hertz button and the energy button for a few seconds until the password screen shows up. If this is out of the box, then the default password should be 0000. I will push enter a few times to select the appropriate digit. Once in the setup menu, I can scroll up if I want to change the password. From here, I will push the down arrow to see the supply system. This is currently set to three phase four wire. I can change this to either three phase three wire or single phase. I will scroll down to CT, which sets the value of the current transformer in use. Next is the IT for demand integration time. This is the period in minutes over which the current and power readings are integrated for maximum demand measurement. Currently this is set to 60 minutes, but it is possible to set it to 30, 20, 15, 10, 8, or 5 minutes. I can also choose to turn this off. My next parameter is RSET to reset the cumulative energy and or demand measurements to zero. The next parameter is COMS for setting the communication parameters for the RS485 interface. I can choose the format of either Modbus or the Johnson Controls N2 protocol. With Modbus, I can change the baud rate, parity, stop bits, network address, and order. With the N2 protocol, I can change the network address. The next parameter is for changing the relay pulse output. Here I can change the rate and pulse width. NRGY is the next parameter for energy. I can choose to change the units to kilo or mega and change the 1% limit on or off. If changed to on, power values less than 1% of the maximum range will not be included in the energy measurements. My next parameter is test. This will check all the display elements as well as toggle each element on and off. It will also display the phase sequence. The last parameter is SOFT, which will display the current firmware and build number. I can press the voltage button to go back to the measurement screen. Crompton Instruments Integra RI3 Digital Metering System, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at Gelco.com.